What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today rebuilding the Jets and this is a team who really focused on offense in the draft. They brought in Zach Wilson at quarterback later in the first round traded up for Elijah Vera Tucker to slide in right at left guard has tackle flexibility as well so maybe we'll see some of that in this rebuild brought in Elijah Moore at the top of the second one of my favorite receivers in the draft in a very very strong receiver class. Michael Carter, one of my favorite underrated players in the draft. They brought in in the fourth, I believe, to play running back for the future. I love what the Jets did. They said, hey, we're not ready to go yet. We're going to focus on putting stars around our new rookie quarterback. So I, I kind of love it. They're not ready to go yet. Hopefully, we can take them up to the next level. Let's go over their entire team. But also, if you guys are new here, would appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. I know a lot of you guys watching this probably are not subscribed. So just scroll down. It's completely free to do so. Hit the subscribe button. You can also check me out on Twitch. I stream every single night. Get Adam Gase out of here. And also, you can tweet at me if you want me to do another team. Get video ideas. I'm always active over on Twitter. This video is sponsored by Hawthorne, a company I've worked with a lot in the past, and for good reason. Their products are things I use every single day. They're awesome, love the way they smell and feel, like the conditioner here and even the body lotion, but they have more than just that. Shampoos, body washes, colognes, so many great, awesome products. And all you have to do to figure out what products are gonna work best for you is take a little quiz. You answer questions about your face, skin type, your main face need, all the way down to maybe how sweaty you are. You gotta think about what your personal care routine says about you. Whether you keep it simple or have a 10 step plan, premium grooming products make all the difference in how you look and feel. With Hawthorne, you can get the most of your personal care routine with high quality shampoo, body wash, hand soaps, and even a luxurious sandalwood shaving gel. All made without sulfates, parabens, and even other harsh chemicals. Maybe you don't even wear cologne. Maybe you're getting blitzed every night with whiskeys or, or ripping darts out at a bar. Hawthorne takes a risk out of shopping for personal care by giving you free shipping on your order and returns. That's why you have to use them. All you have to do is take Hawthorne's quiz today. You get a personalized self-care routine that, again, is absolutely essential to your daily life. So Hawthorne.co. Use code BENGAL10 to get 10% off your first purchase. That's H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E dot C-O. And use code BENGAL10 to get 10% off your first purchase. It's a no-brainer. You're using shampoo and conditioner and lotions and all these things daily anyway. You might as well get a self tailored plan for you don't forget code bangle 10 thank you again to hawthorne for sponsoring the video of course with these rosters i am pretending as if 2020 is actually 2021 so you got to keep that in mind and also that means that multiple rookies are going to be in the same class like makai beckton and zach wilson despite being in different draft classes they're going to be combined i also have to make sure the contracts are correct i downloaded a roster per usual so i have to make sure the contracts are correct zach wilson they are going to be on four-year deals with fifth-year options. However, 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 that is not a thing in the game. You can't just put a random player, give them a fifth-year option. So I do five years, and then we got to make sure the salary is somewhat similar to what it is. So I check, and I make sure things are correct. Zach Wilson, appears has not signed his deal yet. So I just went with something that seems similar uh, based on the projected four years, $35.1 million fully guaranteed. I am also giving Zach Wilson superstar development. I think that's fair for the number two overall player in the draft. I'm making sure Elijah Moore's on a four-year deal. I'm going to give him star development. And you know what? Top interior offensive lineman off the board. Jets traded up for him. I'm going to give AVT superstar dev as well to make that a little bit more fun. Michael Carter's also going to get star. And I might even start him. Might even start him. Like, would I really rather have Tevin Coleman or Michael Carter? Michael Carter for the future, for sure. And I think that's it on offense. On defense, I'm not going to change any of the development traits. No one was worth it. They drafted Jamie and Sherwood, who at 67 overall is probably even a little high. Make sure his contract's right, and then we'll get into things. Ah, Cooper Cup at middle linebacker. That should work just fine. They made some interesting signings. I mean, this team's set up to be in a 3-4. I'm not sure if they've made that change in real life. I'm not sure if Robert Sala is going to run a 3-4. It's possible. Wouldn't exactly shock me based on what he did in San Francisco. But that would mean that Blake Cashman and... Why did I forget Jared Davis' name for a second? But Jared Davis and Blake Cashman both are going to move to the inside. We still need edge rushers, but Carl Lawson, who is an awesome signing, should be higher than 82 overall. He is not fit to play defensive end. I'm just going to change to a 4-3. It's gonna make that happen. I'm gonna put Elijah Moore in the slot, and that's probably the last thing I do. I think this team's set up. It's not gonna be amazing this year, but it could be all right. Mid-season mark, we have a breakout player challenge for Chris Herndon. 
I don't know if he's going to get star dev. It's possible, I guess. The milestones that he has to surpass in this game really aren't too crazy. So we'll see. This team's really doing very, 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 very badly at 1-7. and seven. That's the way she goes sometimes. We're going to see who's a free agent. Do I want to bring back any of these guys back? No, I don't. Man, this team's being uh, really awful right now. We would finish 5-11 and 11 in season number one. Not the best. Zach Wilson really wasn't too bad. 4,100 yards, 30 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. Very, very respectable rookie year. Rushing Michael Carter. Yeah, he wasn't too good. Eight touchdowns, I guess we'll take that. Corey Davis, new free agent signing. He went over 1,000 yards, four TDs. Elijah Moore, though, 900 yards and only 58 catches, but 10 touchdowns. Crowder being a slot beast. Chris Herndon had a pretty good year as well. And then defensively, Blake Cashman had over 100 tackles, as did Bryce Hall. That's never a good sign when you have a corner doing that. Sheldon Rankins, 12 tackles for loss. He's another new pickup by the Jets. And then Blake Cashman loved the team in sacks. Well, that's horrific. Carl Lawson only had four sacks. Three and a half, my bad, not even four. Ashton Davis led the team in interceptions. This defense needs to be a lot better, and that's going to be my main focus of this offseason, probably. Patrick Mahomes wins MVP. No Jets. AFC Offense Player of the Year is Patrick Mahomes. Zach Wilson at eight. Defense Player of the Year, Miles Jack. Offense Rookie of the Year, Jay Herbo. Zach Wilson at two. Michael Carter at eight. Defensive Rookie of the Year is Jeremiah owusu koromoa Ashton Davis at four. Bryce Hall at five. Chargers over the Niners in the battle for California, a Super Bowl 55. We're not going to re-sign anybody. We looked at that earlier. No one was really worth re-signing. So we'll check out free agency. Chris Godwin's here. Don't really need him. Jamison Crowder. Jamison Crowder goes up to superstar dev. Marcus Williams would be a big time signing. LaMarcus Joyner is just too old now. So bringing in a young, talented safety, I think would be worthwhile. So we'll offer Marcus Williams a contract. Olivier Vernon has superstar dev. Blake Cashman went up to star. I don't really... Oh, look at that. Chris Herndon goes up to star as well. I don't really think I want anyone else, though. I don't love the options. So if we can just walk away with Marcus Williams, I'd be really happy with that. I might even take the contract down a little bit just to see if we can get him for a little cheaper. And we did. What a decision. So the defense gets a little bit better. The offense is still developing. That's definitely the word for it, developing. They're not close to there yet. But if we can upgrade tackle, if we can upgrade tackle, I think we're going to be in a better spot. Michael Carter, up to a 77 overall, not too bad. Didn't even talk about Denzel Mims. Didn't talk a lot about this team. There are not really a ton of bright spots. All right, so I've talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it again. I've moved back to a 3-4. And I know Carl Lawson is not suited to play defensive end in a 3-4. He's an edge guy. He would play outside linebacker. However, in simulation, he is going to be on the edge because of the specialist rush end. So if I were to have him at outside linebacker in what would be non-rush downs, he would be playing off the ball, which I don't want. So I have to play edge guys at defensive end in a 3-4, even though that doesn't make sense in real life. It's the video game, and I have to work around the video game. It is what it is. So Carl Lawson is going to be there. We have Quinn Williams. Love that. Sheldon Rankins, I think, will probably even stay there. And then John Franklin Myers is good at left end. Blake Cashman, Jared Davis going to move to the inside. We need edge rushers. Badly. Totally forgot about CJ Mosley, by the way, since he was a 2020 opt-out. So that's okay. CJ Mosley's cool. He is a little bit older at this point. 29. So he's hit that age of regression. Tackling's going down. It's the beginning of the end for him. Marcus May is cool back there. LaMarcus Joyner is going to have no trade value. We need corners as well. But we're in a decent spot right now. It's not great. It's not terrible. Also went out and got Trey Herndon. He's not the best. He is only 25 years old. So there are positives there. He's also the best cornerback on the team right now. I know, not great. But we needed to go out and get somebody who could do anything at corner. And I'm going to see if we can get multiple picks somehow. Maybe draft a star dev corner or two. They don't exist. We only draft normal players in the draft. I do, I do know that. Picking a number two overall for the second time in two years now. Let's think about this. 
not going D tackle, not going quarterback, not going receiver. Really don't need to go safety, but a hybrid guy is always interesting, especially when they run 4 4 flat. I'll consider that, but I don't know. Really, the first guy I'm looking at is far down the board. Maybe J.R. Rudolph? He looks pretty awesome. But that's not someone I need to take at number two overall. So what I could do is trade back. My favorite. This really isn't a good draft class for me. It really isn't. Based on my needs, this is not a good draft class. So what I might do here is trade number two for something next year or a player. All right, well, that was accepted. I really didn't think it would be. I'm cool with that, actually. Number two overall, could I have gotten more? It's possible, probably. I usually never uh, start out with my best offer, but we're trading number two overall for Marshawn Lattimore, getting a big upgrade at corner, and we're also getting a first round pick next year from New Orleans. I'm happy with that. You have to be, because we're not going to draft a player like Marshawn Lattimore. It's just not going to happen. 25 years old, 89 overall, star development. Marshawn Lattimore is an excellent addition and a much, much needed position help. Or, or you know what I'm saying. I, I can't speak English. He is much needed help, but a, a position of need. There you go. Still looking for edge. Maybe even linebacker as well. Like, we could play like an off-the-ball linebacker, left outside linebacker. I'm telling you, it won't matter. He's still going to put up sacks the same. So if we can draft that middle linebacker, I'd be really happy with that. The question is, where does he go? I'd love one of those safeties as well. The middle linebacker is supposed to go 14 picks from now. He probably won't last to 14. So maybe I make a move up, trade up to like number eight or something. I just don't trust that he's going to be available. I really don't. I also don't think it's going to be too hard to trade up. So maybe we jump the Giants, make a trade with the Lions, and draft that linebacker. They need middle linebacker. Well, you're not going to get the opportunity to take one because I am acquiring this pick. I don't really care what it takes. This draft class is bad, so I'm really willing to trade these picks. It's going to happen. Maybe a fifth round pick. I'm going to try a sixth first, though. Yeah, it's going to be a fifth. So we are going to move up here. To number eight. Wow, they're not doing that? What about a slightly higher fifth round pick? All right, hold up. We have three first round picks next year. That's wonderful. I think I'll just part with a late third here. Just make this happen. All right, trade is accepted. It's worth it for me to move up. It really is. And we're gonna take one of the better players in the entire draft in J.R. Rudolph, linebacker at Washington State. Ran 4-4-4, crazy bench press, really agile, explosive athlete, amazing top skills. He's a beast. He's a 78 overall, the number two player in the entire class. Took him at number eight. 90 speed, 88 tackle. Block shed's pretty good. Hit power is awesome. Pursuit's awesome. Coverage really isn't too bad. And the power and finesse moves really aren't too bad either. He's going to be a really, really good outside linebacker. And when I say really good outside linebacker, I mean maybe an 80 overall there. He is a stud. Top of the second now. Is there anything I want in this class? We do have Jason Lawton scouted. We can see that he's going to be an early first round player. Not really at a position of need for me. He's a run stopping 3-4 defensive end. Really not something I'm too interested in. Because we have guys to do that already. I mean, that's pretty much what it comes down to. I could play Carl Lawson outside linebacker. We talked about that. But... Is he really going to be better than John Franklin Myers, who's 24 years old? Probably not. Is he going to be better than Sheldon Rankins? Probably not. Better than Quinn Williams? Absolutely not. So, could I draft him with the thought of playing Carl Lawson at outside linebacker, getting Jared Davis out of here? That's possible. But I talked about earlier, I don't want to move Carl Lawson outside linebacker because of how the simulation stats work. So, I'm really at a bit of a crossroads here. Do I want to take the best player available who will be pretty good? 75 overall or higher, more than likely. Or do I want to trade down and get picks for next year to get a player that could actually really help us? We'll take him. We'll take him. 75 overall, number nine in the class, took him at 34. 
He's a run stopper. He's got high block shed speed. He's pretty good. Power and finesse moves really aren't too bad. But he's he's a depth pickup. He's a depth pickup. I probably should have just moved down. We don't really need depth. We don't. A three and a four in this year's draft and a second next year gets me a first round pick from the Eagles. They had the number one overall pick in this year's draft. So that could be very, very, very good in 2022 or pretend 2023 as we are making it up to be in our head. Also, I do want to trade my two fives and a sixth to move back up in the draft. Who works here? Let's move with the Steelers. I want their fourth round pick. If I can get their third, I mean, great, but... Yeah, I'll get their fourth round pick. And I'm going to draft a tight end at that spot. Not that tight end, I don't think. Is he still on the board? He is. Austin Ward out of LSU. Not the best athlete in the world, but mid first round pick. Probably going to be like a 73 overall. If he has star dev, that'd be amazing. He won't. 73 overall. Number 17. We took him at number 99. He actually is kind of fast. 86 speed. 79 catching traffic. That's really not awful. 82 catching. Austin Ward could be a potential starter long term for us. Although I doubt it. That's the end of the draft. Let's see who the best player in the draft was. I'm sure we took him in J.R. Rudolph. I'm positive he will be. But let's see who they're calling the actual number one overall player. It is D'Angelo St. Clair. He has star better development. <laughs> Looky there. Pretty good. He looks really good. But as you'll see with J.R. Rudolph, we're going to change him from a middle linebacker because I don't want him playing middle linebacker to a left outside linebacker and watch the overall jump. It might not jump up to a 80, but to a 79 maybe. It is an 80. Now we drafted the best player in the draft. Promise. So this is the team for our second season, I believe. Pretty good. Not too bad. Jamison Crowder, superstar dev is still crazy. I'm probably gonna move Elijah Moore up in the depth chart anyway, just cause he's the future and Jamison Crowder is more of the past. He's also going to be our slot receiver still. I also want Michael Carter playing over Tevin Coleman. Have Rudolph as our main sub linebacker. Defensive line stays the same. And then LaMarcus Joyner is our slot cornerback, which works perfectly fine to me. We have Marshawn Lattimore in the team now. This team could be a little bit more competitive. It's still not our time yet, I don't think. But it could be a little bit more competitive for sure. I'll see you at the midseason mark. Maybe just before in case I want to make a trade. Who would I trade, though? Nah, I'll just see you at the midseason mark. And we are 2-5. and five. Wow, very good. Yeah, it, it's not our time yet. Marshawn Lattimore needs a contract extension, as does Jamison Crowder, who I'm more interested in now that he has superstar development. Chris Herndon is in there. It's an interesting free agent class because a bunch of these guys are fringe re-signs. Marshawn Lattimore is an absolute. I mean, there's no question about that. We need him back for the future. We went out and traded for him. It was a first round pick. Number two overall. Yeah, we got a first round pick back. But we need to keep Marshawn Lattimore around. He resigns. Jamison Crowder on a four year deal isn't the worst thing as a solid third option. So he's back. John Franklin Myers, we did just draft his potential replacement. So there is that. He's a little bit expensive too. I like him though. He looks really good. I'm going to give him a five year deal. It really isn't too bad for money, but it's still expensive considering he's a 79 overall. Jared Davis, I pretty much have no interest in as a player. He just, he doesn't offer me anything in coverage. Eh, maybe on like a two-year deal. Maybe on a two-year deal. Nah, I'm not doing it. Fadakasi's gone. Chris Herndon with Star Dev is a little bit more intriguing. I'd be willing to bring him back, and we do. And then the rest I don't really need. Now to the playoffs. We're not going to be a part of them in Season 2. How do we finish, though? 8-8. Eight and eight. That is better. That is better. Fourth best offense. Zach Wilson threw for 4,600 yards on the nose. 32 touchdowns to 14 picks. Very good year for Zach Wilson. Rushing Michael Carter was pretty much the same, except Tevin Coleman vultured touchdowns this year. Receiving Elijah Moore almost 1,200 yards and 12 touchdowns. Corey Davis over 1,100 yards. Chris Herndon had a very good year. Jamison Crowder was okay. 70 catches. And then defensively, CJ Mosley crushed it. Rudolph wasn't bad either. Tackles for loss, 7 for Davis. Led the team. Carl Lawson, double-digit sacks with 10. 
Seven for Sheldon Rankins, five and a half for CJ Mosley, four for Quinn Williams. Interceptions, three for Trey Herndon. Marcus Williams also had three. And we're reuniting this New Orleans secondary. Marcus Williams and Marshawn Lattimore. We just need Chauncey Gardner-Johnson now, and we'll be good to go. CD Deuce, CJ Gardner-Johnson, whatever he's going by now, that might not be the worst player to trade for on the real. On the real. I don't know what year I think it is that I'm saying that, but Aaron Rodgers wins MVP. Zach Wilson at eight. AFC Offense Player of the Year is Ryan Tannehill. Zach Wilson at five. Defense Player of the Year, Miles Garrett. No Jets. Offense Rookie of the Year is Parker Metcalf. Defense Rookie of the Year is DeAndre Jones. J.R. Rudolph at two. Jason Lawton at seven. We just missed out. I'd love for him to go up to star. Not sure it's going to happen. We'll simulate to the offseason. We'll see our development changes if there are any. Hopefully there are. 49ers Broncos Super Bowl. I think we've seen that one before. As Elijah Moore goes up to superstar dev. Absolutely love to see that. Winning receiver of the year. We'll give him route technician and grab and go. Again, I've said this a million times. I don't know if those do anything in simulation. I'm not sure if anyone knows if they do anything in simulation. But he goes up to an 88 overall with morale. 87 overall in actuality. Plus two catching is great. Offense is looking very interesting. Not too bad here. Not too bad. And then defensively, Rudolph did go up to star. Perfect. Yeah, he is a stud. He's a stud. Marcus May goes up to superstar. He is 29 now, though. I worry that he's going to regress. But he's still good enough. Marcus Williams is great. Still need corner. Still could use help at outside linebacker. Yeah, I'm kind of good on these guys. Not going to re-sign anyone. We want to have money for free agency if we can sign a big-time defensive player to help us out. Or a tackle. Or a tackle. Jair's here. It's very tempting. Fred Warner's here. That's extremely tempting, especially with C.J. Mosley regressing. Denzel Ward, who we never get, is here. I think I'm going to offer Denzel Ward a contract. Do I sign Colton Miller? I think so. I think so. We need a little bit more money to make some of these things happen. But if I could get the money to sign some of these guys, I mean, Brian O'Neill too, but we just don't have the money for these guys. That's a big problem. CJ Mosley. Yeah, it's that time. It's that time to get rid of probably these, these four. There's no real penalty and they're all bad. The problem is three of them are starting on my offensive line right now, but this would free up a ton of money to completely revamp our offensive line and free agency. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Clear a ton of space by releasing these guys. Alex Lewis, Connor McGovern, George Fant, all bad. And CJ Mosley, I don't think anyone's going to want him. I'll look around the league. If he has higher than red anywhere for the interest level, I'll trade him away. And no one wants him. So I don't want CJ Mosley either. We save a ton of money. He's simply not worth that. If I can sign Fred Warner for what it costs... To cut CJ Mosley. I'm absolutely going to do that. We'll see if we got anyone. I made a lot of offers. Tried to lowball a lot of guys. We did get Brian O'Neill And Fred Warner. And Chris Barnes. And James Daniels. And Colton Miller. Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So we just got a ton of really, really good players to come in. James Daniels is going to start at center. That's huge. And then Colton Miller is probably going to play right tackle. Actually, I'll move Colton Miller to guard. I think he profiles there fairly well. So that's a change I'm making. Move Blake Cashman outside linebacker. This team is really starting to come together. The only guy we didn't get that I want is Denzel Ward. And we have the money to up his contract. Still no one wants Jair. That's insane to me. And we got Denzel Ward. Beautiful free agency. Quinn Williams is coming back. Of course, we're going to pick up his fifth year option. Turns out, I don't even want the New Orleans secondary. I'll just recreate the Ohio State one. Denso Ward, Marshawn Lattimore. That works out pretty well for me. Zone coverage is a little low, but... This defense is rebuilt. This offense is rebuilt. NFL draft time. We are at number 12 overall, as well as where? 13, 23, and 26. What am I really looking for in the draft at this point? The team is close. On offense, maybe a running back. Maybe, but I do like Michael Carter. Maybe a receiver, but 
I like my receivers, maybe a tight end. The offensive line's good. Don't need a quarterback, obviously. And then defensively, I like my defense for the most part. I'm really only considering drafting an outside linebacker, a defensive end, or a corner, maybe. Maybe a safety if there's one good enough. So I want Dante Lowry. I really do. Have to move up to get him. Maybe with the Dolphins. If he's available at the Dolphins pick, I am going to make a move up. Is he available? He sure is. So it's worth moving up for, uh, from 12. It's not really the best draft class in the world. Maybe I'll move up from 13 and use the other piece or other pick as a trade piece. Let's make this move happen with the Dolphins. A one, a three, and a five gets it done. I know we're moving up a lot, but this is the right decision. Dante Lowry, maybe the missing piece. 76 overall, number nine in the class. Perfectly fine with that because he has superstar development. Or star, I guess. I don't know why I just jumped to superstar, but that'd be nice. 74 man, 92 speed. 69 zone covers, nice. He should be great. He should be great. Play right in the slot. He'll probably only have star dev, but superstar would be nice. I think with these other picks... I think I might try and trade for a stud pass rusher. And it might actually be on this team. In the Bears. 31-year-old Khalil Mack. First round pick gets it done. All right. <laughs> and just like that, Khalil Mack is joining the Jets. Khalil Mack going to slide down, play left end. Again, we talked about it. He wouldn't ever play 3-4 defensive end. Well, maybe slide inside on some downs. But he is an edge rusher. He still will be an edge rusher as John Franklin Myers is out of here. I'm also going all out now. Two first round picks and a future third to bring in Christian McCaffrey. Our draft is over, but our team just got exponentially better with the addition of Khalil Mack, one of the best defensive players in the NFL. And now Christian McCaffrey, one of the best offensive players in the NFL. Did I miss out on any great players in the draft? I got a really good player actually in Dante Lowry. How did he stack up? There was an 80 overall running back. Normal dev, of course. He looks pretty good, though. Matthew Martin, 79. That's really good. Rayshon Beatty's a 77. Hmm, really interesting draft class. This will be the team for the third season. It's looking really, really good so far. I think I'm going to take ankle break. Nah, it doesn't matter. We're going to leave everything as is. Offense looks great. The defense looks very, very good as well. Just need these guys to continue developing. We have... Is it Dean Lowry? Dante Lowry. Dean Lowry is an NFL player. I just forgot what his name was. So Dante Lowry, he's our slot corner. Elijah Moore is our slot receiver. This team looks very, very good. Chris Barnes is our sub linebacker. J.R. Rudolph in behind. And we'll see if this is the team that finally makes the playoffs and hopefully makes a deep run. Things are going well. We are 6-1. and one. Corey Davis will be a free agent, but we are sitting atop the AFC East. Always good news. And let's see what else is going on. Couple big time free agents. Don't really want Sheldon Rankins back. He just doesn't play a role. Blake Cashman, I'll re sign him probably. Bless Austin, I don't really want. So it's probably just. Uh, Marcus Mace, 29. He's just going to regress big time if I sign him. I don't know. So Blake Cashman and Corey Davis re sign. Marcus May, I will wait on. Again, Sheldon Rankins, I, I just don't know his role at this point as he continues to age. Don't don't really know. Bunch of training boosts in there. O-line, D-line, and DB, all taken care of. And we'll simulate to the playoffs. I think this is a playoff team. I really do. First round by, we would go 14 and two. Love to see that. Second best offense in the league. Zach Wilson crushed it. 4,300 yards, 45 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, amazing year. Rushing, Christian McCaffrey, 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns, almost five per carry. Receiving, Corey Davis had one more yard than Elijah Moore, but Elijah Moore had a few more touchdowns on 10 fewer catches. Chris Herndon was good. Jamison Crowder was really good. Everyone got involved. Is that really over 4,000 yards with these numbers? I mean, I, I guess so. But that's like what? That's 2,400 yards about... There's 3,000. I mean, I guess I could see it being 4,000, but 4,400 based on those receiving numbers just seems crazy. I know when you add it all up, it, it probably does equal out, but it just kind of looks weird. Just kind of looks weird. And then defensively, Chris Barnes leads our team in tackles. He and Fred Warner had 
Very similar numbers overall, both five tackles for loss. Very similar sack numbers, both with one interception. Quinn Williams had 11 tackles for loss, and oh my goodness. Khalil Mack, 17 and a half sacks. 12 and a half for Carl Lawson, 7 and a half for Sheldon Rankin, 7 for Quinn Williams. Interceptions, 2 for May, Ward, and Lowry, the rookie. Okay. Yearly awards, Russell Wilson wins MVP of the 15 and 1 Seahawks. Zach Wilson at 2. AFC Offensive Player of the Year is Zach Wilson. Love to see that. Defensive Player of the Year, Tremaine Edmonds. Khalil Mack at 8. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Clyde Freeman. No Jets. Defensive Rookie of the Year is Dwayne Gaines, the safety. Dante Lowry at 2. No other Jets. Ooh, Zach Wilson with an upgrade here. Do I want to do strong arm? I want short accuracy to go up, so I think field general will be my choice there. For Zach Wilson, plus two throw accuracy short. Ashton Davis doesn't really matter for me. Oh yeah, let's see what Dante Lowry's dev trade is. Will it be star, superstar, or even superstar X Factor? It is superstar. Hmm, That's I know we took him at number four overall. That is a bit of a shock though really really nice this rebuild has gone very well we'll take that 14 and 2 here in season 3 drafted a superstar dev player these are things that just don't usually happen and we'll see if we can go through the patriots in the divisional we do 24 17 win by a touchdown and now it's the ravens in the conference championship one game away from the super bowl practice player sign that usually only happens when we lose players get signed from the practice squad that's a little bit scary but we'll see if we can beat the ravens here not going to jump in we'll just see if we can do it and we do we do let's see what happened let's see what happens since i can't see the score team schedule that's a preseason this is the regular season of course no force wins per usual and then postseason 38 14 we crushed them and now it's the Super Bowl against the Packers. We've come all the way back. We're going to have some upgrades too. It looks like Zach Wilson and Corey Davis both went up. It's possible. Show me Superstar X Factor for my quarterback. Just Superstar. All right, all right, all right. No other changes. And then defensively, not seeing any changes. But that's okay. That's okay. Super Bowl time. 9-7 and seven Packers, who are an 85 overall against our 93 overall. 14-2 and two New York Jets. Let's get it done. It's a 0-0 game going into the third quarter. We do take a 10-0 lead, but of course with Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, you never know. But our defense is rock solid. The Packers get completely shut out. And we win the Super Bowl 17-0. The Packers scored 0 Oh my goodness. you love to see that. Super Bowl championship here in year number three. Just lovely. Zach Wilson is your player of the game. 261 yards and a touchdown. Wins him Super Bowl MVP. And I think we'll be going to the podium very shortly to see the Jets. Zach Wilson. Fred Warner, who seems to be on a lot of these rebuild teams. The 49ers never are able to keep him. Who else goes up there? Christian McCaffrey. And Elijah Moore, receiver one. They'll hoist the Lombardi. And I think that's as good a spot as any to end this video, guys. I appreciate you watching. Good reminder, as always, hit that subscribe button. If you are not subscribed already, scroll down, check it out. Make sure you subscribe. It's completely free to do so. And check out the second channel. If you like gameplay, upload MLB The Show every single day over there. Link is in the description. Bengal Plays on YouTube coming up on 50K. So every subscription helps, again, completely free. So check it out. You guys would be doing me a great favor. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.